guys welcome back to PC outdoors and um, so I got some stuff hold on let me grab it on this is a good time to say before we get started um, go ahead subscribe like follow share all that good stuff helps out the channel a lot um, Okay, but now, I'm going to grab Wrong pocket. Y'all ever do that? You're opening up something and do the wrong pocket. Feel embarrassed for no absolute reason. Um, so, I went fishing. And whenever I did, I didn't really catch anything. I hooked up to one gar. But that's it. The carp were farther out than I could cast to. But, yeah. Anyways. First thing I got. I already opened up to show it to my grandparents. But. Uh. They're the Versa Rattles by Whisker Seeker. Um. Oh, crud, I forgot those out there. My bad. Uh, anyways. Kind of. Yeah. Anyways, uh, that's the thing. This is the back if y'all want to pause it and read it. Okay. But they're the Versa Rattles by Whisker Seeker. I'll put a close up because before I got them, I had no idea what they looked like. So, here it is. So, what it is. So, it's those two balls that have a connector in the middle. And you put your line through there. With where your bead would go, I'm guessing. That's how I'm going to rig it. And next, I got 10 aught treble threat hooks. Hopefully these work good. Okay. Um burp, burp, burp. Um, but yeah, um, this is kind of just a haul. I went to a, it's like an archery store, but they have fishing stuff there too. I go there sometimes, second time I've ever been in there. But, uh, I looked and they had some stuff that I'm about to show y'all. Uh, if y'all have any tips for flatheads, comment down below. I've been struggling. When I say struggling, I mean struggling to catch one. This is the difference between a 10 aught and an 8 aught. Um, I'll put the 8 aught up to my hand. I have like a medium sized hand. So, they're 10 on, uh, oh. and then, and this is what my box looks like. So, 
decent size. And then I use 30 or 40 pound mono for my leaders. Man, it's heavy. Anyways, um, let me get out that box. I'm gonna have to get me a bigger tackle box. Yes, this box. It smells like melted plastic. Yum. Oh, in this box. I got some of these light stick things. Don't know if, or I know that they're like glow in the dark, but I don't know how to put them on. They're too tiny, or else I would show y'all. But they're really tiny, so. Uh, it's kind of hard to show you. Mm. Oh, it's dying. It's a little orange bit. You all know how to use those. The, they're called lat sticks. They were a dollar for five of them, so. I'm guessing they're mini glow sticks you put on something to make something look like where you can see it. Brum, brum, brum. I'm guessing. I don't know. Um. Dun, 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 dun. piece again man I don't know I don't know what it is and I already looked and no they don't have instructions on the back no oh, where it is and I got the beat stops the reflective ones and I just threw them That's, I'm going to open and close this box of hundred things. But, I'll show y'all everything. Next, a lot of y'all are probably familiar with it. I've heard of it, but I've never been able to use it because it's meant for salt water and I do not live around salt water, so, uh, yeah, the Sabiki rig, See, I don't really understand it that much, it's really complicated, basically what I know is that you tie it onto your line with a hook at the bottom, and it falls, and Fish are like, mmm, yummy. I wonder what goes through their mind. Hello. Like a bigger? Yeah. Uh, I wonder what goes through their mind whenever they eat it. He's the outdoor rocks. Woo! Get it out of my bed. There we go. So basically, 
I think what it is. So many pictures of purple together. Um, you tie it from somewhere, these hooks dangle down, and you put a weight on the bottom, so it kind of crumples up into a little thing of a I'm really good at explaining if y'all you you guys couldn't tell. Just gonna kinda. Mm. That hurts a little bit. They were only like $2 and something cents. Y'all want, if this video gets 20 likes, I guess, I'll try and do it. Came from. And I got some flies for bobber fishing. Man! I cannot stop poking myself with these hooks. I got this fly. Has a little bit of chartreuse under the hook. I don't know what that's for. I guess they see chartreuse and their mind's just like chartreuse. That reminds me of a Big Mac. Oh, man. So, yeah. That's what I imagine goes through their mind whenever they eat it. Man, is that a Big Mac? Can't wait to eat it. Nom, 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 nom. Those flies were super cheap. One second, I think I might have dropped the other one down here. Oh, no, I didn't. It's right here. Now, this other one, I really like it. Uh, I might put these on a double hook rig, but instead of it being just hooks and bait, it's going to be two flies. Man. I really like this one. And they don't have a weight. So I'm going to have to put like a drop shot weight or something on there. Um, yeah. I'm going to show y'all my uh, crappie box, but y'all are going to be like, what is that? Because I don't have much in it, and the stuff that I do have in it, it's not sorted. And I just dropped my phone. But yeah, that's what that is, um. I'll give y'all one more good look at my catfish box. I tried pulling up on a push thing, but it's... Three, four, two, one ounce weights. These are the rattles. Right there. Rattles. Beat. They're reflective. Apparently that helps with something. Um, I was just seeing if I could take the clips off of the sinker slots. Um, small swivels for bass and stuff. You can use it for catfish, but I'm not a big fan. These are what I use for catfish whenever I use regular swivels. Um, then I'll show you all these big old hooks again. Can't wait to try those out. That might help with my hook set. Sorry, you guys. Um, peg floats. Y'all know I like Santee Cooper rigs. And A dot, 7 dot, 6 dot, 5 dot circle hooks. Um... Then there's these little glow thing my bobber my jiggies. Don't even really know what they do, but it's whatever. And this is the trash I have left over. Subscribe for good cleanup. And subscribe because you like me. And hit the notification bell. Comment this video gets 20 likes. 
I'll show y'all how I'm going to rig it. Anyways, I'll see y'all next time.